And turn the power back on. We'll get a few beeps. We are going to put battery back up. Come on, keep beeping. Powered by Eclipse operating system. So this operates on one dial, which is fantastic, and it's got separate open, close, and stop buttons. So this is running on a 24 volt system. We've just used the existing transformer. Nothing wrong with that. Okay, we've loaded up set for 24 volt motors it's picked up that this is a 24 volt transformer another fantastic feature of the lcma board it's really automatic to enter programming mode press master for two seconds which is this button here so we'll hold that for two seconds entering programming mode turn master to scroll or press to set so we want to set actually we want to scroll to i think 13. So we want to do the I learn mode. Press master to learn. Select gate type. Now we want to select a double gate, or if you've got a single gate, select that one. So we've got two gate leafs. Double. Our limit switches used. Yes, we do have the limit switches down here. So press yes. How are the limit switches connected? On the MC control card? No, they're not connected to the control card. Otherwise we would have three wires going down to the limit switches. So they are in series with the motor. The motor wire comes out, where are we? Goes through into the motor, comes out of the motor, into the limit switches, to the bottom limit switch, and out back up to the control board, into the other side. So it's one big continuous loop through the motor, through the switches, back up, and we've got the diode so it can't reverse polarity. That's the board's job. So they are in series with the motor. So basically if you've got five wires and you're plugged into the control board, select control card. If you've got only two wires going to the motor and your system down here, select in series with the motor. Is the gate open halfway? Absolutely not. So we'll press no. Press open or close to set motor halfway so down here we've got open and close and stop buttons so now we're going to press the open button and see what happens now if you press open and the gate closes don't worry just use the close button to open them you can flip that around later so we'll press open because i think it's set correctly and yep the gates are opening so we're going to set them approximately halfway and as you can see, when we open the gate, you can tell which limit switch is going to be the open one, if you've set that correctly as well. So that's about halfway. Press the master button. Set motor two halfway. Open that. And yep, that one's opening as well. So we'll set that one about halfway. All right, now that one has actually hit the limit switch. So I'm going to have to back that one off. This one actually hit that halfway by itself. So at least we know that's working. We're just gonna to have to back that one off like so. Otherwise we won't get enough travel to actually open the gate. We'll just keep an eye on that. We don't want it to over open either. All right, that's motor two halfway is correct. Okay, now it's setting the gate direction. It's going to automatically operate one of the gates for a very short period and ask you did motor one open and yes this is motor one because it's got the outer latch on it to overlap the other gate so did motor one open and yes it did so we'll click yes if you can see that click yes now it's going to operate the other gate so that one just opened did motor two open and Yes, it did. So we'll click yes, and now we might have to get out of the way, because when we click yes, these gates are going to swing open and go through its testing procedure. Okay, now the eye learn is in progress. I can't hang around here too long. Okay, both gates are closing. Just need to keep an eye on those limit switches. That looks like it's going to line up pretty good. Those hinges need a good oiling. 
Okay, that one stopped perfectly. That one's pretty good. We'll fine tune those limits later. So we're 31% through. Let's make sure they're going to over open. That's good enough for now. That's good enough for now. That one doesn't need much more actually. So yeah, we're just running through the iLearn process. Just make sure your first gate shuts before this one, so it can overlap. All right, this could be the last procedure. Now we're up to 62%. I think it does this about four times. And this should be the final close. And then we can fine tune the limits, which won't affect the procedure. The gate will just travel that little bit further. But yeah, those hinges are so dry, they need some oiling. What are we now? Okay, learning is, learning is successful. The gate is closed, which is pretty much correct. We just need to adjust those limit switches there. Now that gate is pretty much perfect. So now we can use the open and close and stop buttons here to open the gate. And we'll stop it and then we'll close it and just see where we're at. All right, so we do have to have this in. It's got a wire there. I just remembered, see that link? Where are we? It's got that small link there. That should deactivate the photo beam, which is approximately, there you go, photoelectric beam. That lines up perfectly. So that will disable the PE beam. And then we should be able to exit. And then we won't have the PE beam in. Exit programming, gate stopped. Okay, now we should be able to close it. There we go. Beautiful. So you make sure you've got your terminal block all your terminals there and it's a block and it plugs in so yeah, that's your PE link once you unplug that and put your wires to your PE beams in that will run through the PE beams rather than just loop in that is absolutely spot on this one yep that one is absolutely maxed out as well so there we go Limits are perfected. That's how you do the eye learn and the limits set up on your Elsima MC control board. I'm that Rollador bloke. Thanks for watching.